Hi everyone, Phil from Tech for Techs here. Today we're going to be looking at this 850 watt fully modular gold power supply by Airs Game. It's got a recommended retail price of roughly £80 and we've got links in the description just below. Before we go on to the main video, if you would do us a favour, click that like button, subscribe, click the bell as well. That way you'll get notifications of new videos and live streams we do. Again, doing all these things helps support the channel and helping to support the channel allows us to release more videos, better quality videos and more content exclusively just for you. Okay, some of the specifications for this, just if you needed to know, but basically it is a fully modular ATX gaming power supply, 850 watts, it's 80 plus gold certified, with 90% efficiency or higher under typical loads. Uh, it's got a DC to DC structure, provides very stable voltage output, silent and durable 140 millimeter fan, and it's got full protection including OVP, UVP, OPP, SCP, and OCP. Right, okay, on top of that, you've got obviously the all the different connections on there it comes with the screws the testers installation manual quick start guide and everything like that so you should have everything you need there but it gives you basically a stable output and it's quiet at the same time and it's got a good heat dissipation on there as well and it's ideal for high-end vga cards uh, with modern PCIe 6 plus 2 connectors and convenient cable design obviously with the flat black cables on there as well. Okay as you can see we've got the box here for Airs Game, Ars Game, Aeris Game depending on how you want to pronounce it. It's there, it's a nice black box, you've got the product on there, the product does sort of blend in a little bit with the box but uh, you tend to find that on a lot of uh, products these days. They like to use a black background for some reason. Uh, as you can see, we've got the 850 watt model. It's the AGK850. It says gold modular power supply. It says 80 plus gold, and it's got a 10 year warranty according to it there. On this side, it doesn't show much other than the model number. On the other side, it shows another picture of the power supply. On the back, you've got all the specifications on there in different languages as well. And it tells you all your voltages and settings there. On the top side, you've got all the connectors it's got. So it comes with a 20 plus 4 connector for your motherboard. It also comes with a 4 plus 4 for your uh, power, sorry, for your CPU, which obviously is usually 8. Uh, then you've also got 4 PCIe connectors, those are usually used for your graphics cards and they're 6 plus 2's, so you've got 4 of those. You've got 6 um, SATA connections, usually used for solid state drives and hard drives. You've got 3 of the older Molex connections used for uh, really old hard drives and some peripherals. And then for some reason we've got a floppy connector still. Uh, but otherwise, that's pretty much for it on the box, there's not much on the bottom either. Okay. Okay, let's first of all have a look at the cabling. As you can see here, we've got lots of cabling. Uh, it's all flat packed and so forth. But before we get too close into that, uh, we do have a quick start manual here, which tells you where you plug all your cables and everything into, which is handy, but uh, is it needed? And then you've got also a manual as well, which is about a million pages long. Uh, again, I would have preferred to see just a QR code, save paperwork, save the environment and so forth, but it does go in depth, so you have got information there which is good. Uh, it comes with a, a nice carry bag as well to put your cables in which you're not going to use on the power supply. You've got a UK power cable obviously if you're in Europe I'm presuming they'll um, supply you a European cable so that's pretty good. Uh, on top of that we do have a little bag here what came over the end of the 24 pin connector. Uh, in that bag you also got a tester here 
which uh, that tester allows you to uh, test to see if the power supply works. Uh, I'll, say, I'll say that quite loosely. It powers the power supply on. Um, obviously, it's not going to check the voltages or anything like that, but it's a, a good starter just to check to see if there's any issues with your power supply. Obviously, if it doesn't power on when you put the tester on, that generally means there is an issue with it, but it won't pick up every single fault. But it's also nice for them to include that because you don't normally get that included. Uh, on top of that, they do support supply some wraps you've got some velcro ones there and you've also got your standard cable tidies as well as four screws as well which is also good now the actual cables the cells as you can see the 2024 pin one is wrapped so it's uh, got like a, a sheen to it sort of a silky look to it which um, you may or may not like um, but there's no colored cables on there which is good but every single other cable is what they call flat black which basically means the cable is flat so there's no basically bulk to it and it's black so it's uh, pretty straightforward which is good for airflow it's good for keeping it nice and tidy it's good for cable tidying and also you don't have all those multi-colored cables all over the place at the end so i must say up to now it looks pretty good Okay, so let's have a look at the power supply itself. As you can see there, it's pretty much all black. It does have a sticker on the side, which has got a bit of orange on in the model number, and it says it's 80 plus gold, which is good. If you're not sure what 80 plus gold means, that means it's quite environmental friendly, or it uses, or should I say, wastes less electricity than a lower end model, like a silver, a bronze, a white, or even unbranded or un marked versions obviously if yours doesn't have a 80 plus sticker on the side it could mean it's very environmentally unfriendly okay so as you can see on the top we've got a fan here so it looks like it's a nice blade from what i can see it looks like it's got four five six seven eight nine it's got about 11 blades on there so that's pretty good uh it's got a warranty remove sticker there both sides has that uh, manufacturer's marking which is good uh, with the name of the model number and the gold on and then it's got the specifications on the top which is good I actually like that because a lot of power supplies put the specifications on the sticker on the side if you've got a glass window all you can see is the specifications which you don't really need to see that when you've got a nice glass window on your case so putting the sticker on the top I must give them a good thumbs up for that to be honest with you better than a lot of the really well-known manufacturers do so that's good uh, obviously on the back side you can see the components inside there it's got a rocker switch for powering it on and obviously your power cable goes in there and it tells you about your input which is 100 up to 240 volts AC on there as well if it's uh, upside down it doesn't really help does it but it gives you the information there if you need it but it also gives you the information upside down as well if you did have it upside down and on the reverse side is where obviously you plug in your cables so it might be hard to see, but it says do not use modular cables from other power supplies. And yet yeah, you don't want to do that because different cables are slightly different. They're designed slightly different ways. Some take uh, uh, a pin slightly different, even though they physically look the same. So you could end up blowing the power supply even worse. The parts in your computer by putting the wrong amount of power to different parts. So that's always wrong. And all you do is if you want to connect a cable up, so you obviously you're going to need a 24 pin cable for your motherboard if you don't well i'll be surprised so you basically get the cable depending on which end you need to do so on this in this case it will be this end you would basically get that cable there and plug it into where it says 24 pin so you just basically get there and push it in and then the other end of the cable that's what goes in your motherboard and it's a, this one's a 20 plus 4 so that means the four pins on the end will actually pull off like that for any reason anyone still uses the motherboard what only uses 20 pins and i've not seen one of those in a few years and let me reach across so we get this pci cable here so basically you just plug that in exactly the same if you have a look on the actual case in here you can see it says sata ide and you can see it says pcie cpu it might not be the clearest on the camera but it gives you a rough, rough idea so we know this is a pcie cable you basically plug it into one of those ports there so you just push in and it clicks in simple as that and the idea with modular ones you've not got loads of cables coming out of it you don't need you can store them in a 
a place what's safe and so forth so you've got them for the future uh, so if you ever add extras to your machine like new graphics card new hard drives whatever you can add the cables in you need so it keeps down the clutter inside your case which also helps improve airflow which in turn helps uh, improve keeping it cool which in turn could potentially make your machine run a little bit faster because it isn't such a mess in there and it's easy for air to get around again we're looking minute numbers here but it does look a lot neater if nothing else okay so we've done a few tests on this basically to check the power draw from the wall we basically tested it on a a uh, test bench we always use for testing our power supplies, which is basically a 10700KF Intel processor, as well as a GeForce 3070 and a 3070 Ti together in the same machine, and obviously we've run the machine flat out at 100%. The normal power draw for this, usually, usually on a gold power supply when we do testing, is usually around about 700 to 710 watts on average bear in mind that does fluctuate up and down but we get the average over a 30 minute period and what we did find on this one it was closer to probably 720 to 730 watts so it was a little bit more power hungry so if it is classed as a gold i would say it was a low end gold so it was only just a gold or more like a high end silver but saying that for the price for the wattage and everything like that it performed very well. We didn't have any um, stability issues. Our testings were fine. All our vo uh, voltages and wattage ratings were absolutely as it should be. So I can't really say much bad about it, to be honest. With you. But apart from it may or may not be exactly a gold. And if it is, it's just on that border, to be honest with you, from our testing. We also performed a what we class as a soak test, which is basically where we leave the machine running flat out. That's the CPU running at 100% and both of the graphics cards at 100% for 48 hours, just to make sure the machine doesn't crash or the power supply fails or anything along that line. And we didn't have any issues, so it was able to cope with uh, uh, supplying roughly 720 730 watts from the wall without any issues, which is pretty good in all honesty. Now the inside components, it's hard to roughly say what's inside there because we're basically not being told what's inside there. We don't know if it's from an OEM and being rebranded or anything along that line. But I would suggest if you're interested in learning more about their power supplies, you can actually watch a video from Gamers Nexus where they do a full strip down and in-depth testing on one of the power supplies made by this company but otherwise i'm pretty happy with the power supply it does everything it says on the tin uh the wattage was probably a little bit slightly more power hungry than most of the golds um, we've tested in the past uh, but all the voltages were correct and did what they should do within obviously uh, error of margin and everything like that but we didn't have any real issues with it and obviously managed to last that 48 hours without a problem so again if you are looking for a power supply it might be something to look into again they're a new company don't know much about them um, not much information out there about them but potentially they look good but obviously if you have got a really high-end gaming pc maybe look at something what's a bit more established thank you for watching this video everyone it's really appreciated you made it all the way to the end please make sure you subscribe like comment and even click that bell so you get notifications of new videos and live streams it does help support the channel and supporting the channel basically means that we can release more content for you and also better quality content going forward thanks again for watching and i'll see you next time